Speaking about the book of Tehillim, uh, Psalms, that was written mostly by King David and then his son King Solomon and other uh, different people, uh, it started with a verse that we have to pay attention carefully to what it says. Uh, it starts the Tehillim by praising a person who did not sit among the clowns and the wicked people, which means his environment wasn't negative. His environment was positive. We review in the Torah, the written and the oral Torah, the obligation of every Jew to make sure who his neighbors are, to stay away from negative neighbors, because who are your neighbors will the eventually determine who you are. Uh, their children can affect your children to a negative uh, actions. The environment of the places, if the women are not modest, it's affecting your wife and your daughters. If people are into sport and circus and all kinds of nonsense, automatically it attracts you also to this nonsense. But if you live in a kosher and healthy uh, environment when people learn Torah and uh, people are righteous and they're honest and they respect one another and holiday, it's a holiday and the Shabbat is Shabbat, it's holy, there's no carbs around, automatically it improves you, which means the area determine what kind of product you're going to be. And we know, we have a say, that a person is a product of his society, his environment. We have to know one thing. King David, obviously, as everybody else would do, started his book with the most important thing that he could come up with. If he started with that, Ashrei Adam, how lucky is a person Asher lo yashav de moshav letzim, and didn't follow the way of the wicked people, and didn't sit with negative people, and his mind is always into the Torah of Hashem, which means this is the most important thing in life. You have to know one thing, the decision of moving to a negative area, such as Las Vegas, some places in San Francisco, some places in Manhattan, neighborhoods that there's no synagogue, no yeshiva, no Torah, all kinds of sins that people do over there. That day that you make that decision, you basically cut yourself from God. What happened later is obvious, it's just a matter of time. And this is what we see in the Torah. We had a nephew of Abraham, Lot, the son of his brother. Lot starts very well, everything is fine with him. One day he decides to move to Sodom and Gomorrah, to Sodom. You know, horrible, the worst city of those days. The Torah speaks very negative about it. All crimes that you can think of exist there. A righteous person wants to move over there. From this moment on, his status changed completely. He's not longer what he used to be. Before he even arrived there, he's already con the Torah already considered him wicked. And we have to learn from this. We cannot look at things and ignore it. We have to understand where are we heading to. And this is my advice to each one of us today. Thank you very much.